Hey guys, today we're gonna do a tomato taste test and we have a special guest, my husband, Darren. He's gonna do the tomato taste test with us. Um, this is Henry, as you remember, and yep. Darren is not a big fan of tomatoes, so you're gonna get um, his perspective of not being a huge tomato fan to me and Henry who love tomatoes. Or at least he'll eat tomatoes, but he'll eat them like in a caprese salad or a salad or something like that. So. Yeah. Okay, so first up, we have green zebra. Hopefully you can focus maybe on that. So when it's ripe, it's yellow with green stripes. And it's like a small to medium sized tomato. Okay, so we're gonna, when we try this, we're gonna try it without salt first, and then we're gonna try it uh, with salt. Oh, and this is one of our favorites. Great. Pippin, he might have to go inside. <laughs> and this is one of our favorites that we Yes, tried. we tried this one last year, Henry and I, and we really like it. It has like a zippy flavor to it um, and tangy. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. It's very, very juicy. Yep, obviously very green. Yeah. Okay, so... Darren, you probably want a small piece. Sure. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Green zebra. No, oh, that was a really juicy one. Mm hmm What do you think? Pretty good. It does have like a sour flavor. It's kind of sour. Sour. <laughs> Let's see. I'll try it with salt now. Good. The salt definitely makes it a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yep, better with salt. <laughs> okay. Dark Galaxy. This one is a very beautiful tomato. Um, so it has all these little speckles on it. It has dark shoulders. So you can imagine it being like a uh, all the stars in a galaxy. Um, I've heard that it's very savory. I haven't tried it for a few years, so I'm really excited to try this again. Um, the plant was good. It, it does not like to set, in, set on in any heat, I've noticed. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and cut into it. So you already have the salt. You don't <laughs> Pippin, want to get extra. out of here. <laughs> Pippin's trying to get our to tomatoes. Oh, okay. Pippin? Okay, we're trying it without salt first. And what slice do you want? Go. Ooh. It's kind of mild. Hmm. You want me to add salt to that? Mm -hmm. Interesting flavor. I, I think you could use some salt. In a tomato. I don't think I have either. What do you think, Henry? I think it definitely could use some salt. That's what I think. It's pretty good. Yeah. I feel like it needs flavor. Like, it's not, it's very mild to me. Oh, the salt really brings out the flavor. Yeah. It's pretty good with salt. I've heard it's very savory. Does it have that like umami savory flavor to it? Kinda. Smoky? Smoky? Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. I'll put it that way. <laughs> it's diff it is different. That's a good way to describe that. It is really good though. Um, I think if I had a lot of space, I'd grow it every year. It just didn't set on very good for me. Like I think I got about like six tomatoes on the on the plant. Um, and it's a very pretty tomato, so it'd be really pretty in salads and stuff. So yeah, I like it. I like Dark Galaxy. Not bad. No Ananas Noir or Black Pineapple. It's been a while since we've tried this one. I grew this one a few years ago, so I'm looking forward to trying this one again. I think it's going to be sweet with some like earthy flavors, but we'll see. I think Henry was excited for this one the most. <laughs> yeah, I just I like the name. 
the pineapple. Yeah, I like the pineapple. Get the yucky part off here. Okay. So I like pineapple. Okay. Ooh, this is really ooh, pretty on the that inside. Is, that is really cool looking. Okay, let me show you guys. Oh, well, that side. Look at the. It's got like a pink middle. So it's green on the inside and then like around the edges it has that like red color. Okay. Here we go. They're definitely very colorful. Yeah, it is very colorful. Let's see, I'll get dad this piece over here. Let's cut that in half and we can have that <laughs> salt and no salt. Okay. And then, um, okay. Here you go, Henry. You want that piece? Mm -hmm. All right. Black pineapple. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Oh, mm. that's sweet. I like that. I like it better than that dark galaxy I just had. Yeah. That one tastes more similar to the first one we had. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is similar to the green zebra, except it's not as like tangy as the green zebra. It's more sweet. Um, My tomato range is very small. They all taste <laughs> a lot alike. You want to put salt on that one? Yeah, I have a little bit of a... Oh, right there, mm -hmm. so. you want me to cut you a different piece? Yeah. See. That one is pretty good. With salt. I think it'll be really good with salt though. Yeah. This is very delicious. Now my plant didn't do too good on this one this year. Oh, mm-hmm. This is really delicious. Um my plant um I started off getting a lot of the blossom and rot and then it just didn't stop. Like I had a ton of them that had the blossom and rot. And it also just didn't set on very good in the heat. So I would definitely grow it again. I think I would wait until I have more space though. But pretty good. I really like it. Can you try another piece? I'm giving a piece to Pippin. Aw, Pippin. Let's see. You gonna try it? What do you think? Yep, he definitely likes it. If he eats really quick, he <laughs> likes it, so. Pippin gives it a thumbs up. <laughs> And we'll put our rating at the bottom of the screen too. Uluru Ochre. I like the color of this one. Yeah, this is a really cool color. Um, it's named after some kind of place in Australia, I think. <laughs> I'll look it up. Anyway, um, this is my biggest tomato so far. I weighed it today. It was like about 13 ounces, so not quite a pound yet, but... This I'm looking forward to. It looks like it's gonna be a really meaty tomato. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's cut from here. Pippin? <laughs> oh, that didn't cut very good. <laughs> Ooh, that one was, This one is starting to look really good. Look at that on the inside. That's a meaty tomato. Not a whole lot of seeds there. That's good. It looks pretty. This is a nice color on the inside of this one. Okay. I'm looking forward to this one. All right. There you go. Ooh, it's juicy. Mmm. Oh. That's a really unique flavor. Mm. It's sweeter. It kind of reminds me. Tangy. Tangy? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it. It reminds me of eating fruit. Is that me? Nope. Oh, oh Pippin. You just ate my salted one, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have to say that's the best one I've tried today. Oh, you cut me a small piece. No, don't leave it so mm -hmm. close. Oh, Pippin sorry. I'm sorry. This, that's the best one I tried today. Just cut me a small of that, and you guys can have the other part. Oh, well. And I'll put salt on that. Okay. Nope. Pippin, hey, get you out keep of here. Sticking it too close. Pippin's gonna eat <laughs> get it. Get out of here, Pippin. That one is the best one I've tried all day. Oh yeah, I agree. Well, I don't know. That black pineapple is good too. Yeah, try it with salt. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That would be really good on a sandwich. Uluru ochre. And I prefer that just plain. So Uluru ochre is a dwarf tomato. So it's part of the dwarf tomato project. Um, I only got three tomatoes on the plant so far. 
So we'll see if, if I get any more the rest Not of the season. Part from that. But they do make big tomatoes, so I like that about it. Yes, that, that one was really good. I think that's the best one the next day. It was good. Brad's Atomic Grape. So this is an elongated cherry variety. Um, it stays relatively green. It has purple shoulders. And then when it's ripe, it has like orange streaks, almost red streaks. Okay. Dad probably wants a smaller one. <laughs> yeah, this one's not my favorite, but we'll <laughs> see how it is the second time. I really liked it. We've tried this one already. Yeah. <laughs> Pippin's waiting for a tomato. Okay, so let's try it without you want me to cut it in half first. Or you do you got it in half? I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just try it without the salt. It has a very tough skin. So. Said that was firmer than any of the <laughs> other ones. Yeah. Um, so that's a really good thing to note. Tough skin. Let's I think see. that's better the second time I tried it, but still probably not the best I've tried, but it's got a great flavor though. Mm -hmm. My husband, I cut this up in like a caprese once and Darren thought it was um, pickles. Pickles. It looked like pickles cut up. <laughs> Mm. Really good with the salt. I haven't tried it with the salt yet. Oh. No. It's a very fun snacking tomato. <laughs> Aunt Ruby's German Green. So this tomato is interesting because uh, when it's ripe, it's it's green, so it's hard to know when it's um, actually ripe. So you got to kind of squeeze it to see when it's ripe. And it also has a little bit of like these little pink colors in there. This one's kind of a weird shape, so I'm going to cut it like in half this way. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Ooh, it's so pretty on the inside. Really bright colors. Yeah. I've heard some good things about this tomato. I've never tried it before, so I'm really it's excited. Sweet. I don't know. I've heard it's just like a, like if anything, it, people compare it to brandy wine. Mm, that so, oh, this is really juicy. Okay. Yeah. I don't get another. I like an edge piece. Just yeah. Like middle. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Get dad a small piece over here. <laughs> okay kind of meaty slice. Mmm. Mm. That one's similar to the black pineapple one. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's a good tomato. Let's see. Try it with some salt. Here, I'll give you a piece too. Very similar to the other green ones. Yeah. So kind of the tangy Tangy. Mm-hmm. I don't know about tangy. Can you cut this one for me? Oh, sure. Kind of fruity. Yeah. It's got a... It's yeah. really soft, too. Yeah, it's very juicy. It's very meaty. Let me try it with salt now. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. That not, was really good. Not as good as the Uluru Ochre. You like the Uluru Ochre better? Mm-hmm. Mmm. The Ooh. Aunt Ruby's German Green is a big thumbs up for me. Um, the plant was really healthy all season. Um, it actually set on a lot of tomatoes. I want to say I had like eight set on the plant. Um, I would definitely grow this one again for sure. It is awesome. I like it. What do you think, Darren? Not bad. <laughs> well, what do you think compared to the other ones so far? About the same. <laughs> he doesn't have That's much That's probably opinion. second place. <laughs> Not a tomato guy. <laughs> That's probably tied for second. Yeah, The I ones agree. I've tried today. Yeah, that was really good. 
large barred boar. This is a Brad Gates tomato. So was the Brad's Atomic Grape. Um, so Brad Gates is a tomato breeder out of California uh, with wild, wild boar. I can't talk. Wild boar farms. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this is one of his creations. So they're kind of like the, he calls them the heirlooms of the future. So anyway, let's try it out. This plant, by the way, um, I definitely recommend growing this one if you want a prolific plant because this one has set on the most tomatoes for me and it's in, even in a smaller pot um, and they're good sized tomatoes too. So even in the heat, this was setting on. So pretty impressive. Okay, here we go. Ooh, pretty average color. Yeah, it's like got a, it's pink on the inside. So let me kind of show you the color there. Some green seed pockets. Okay. So, um, one of these pieces. I want one like that here. And, okay. Okay. Large bar bowl. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, that could be good. That one's got a tangy flavor to it. It's a um, very sour-like almost. Would you say sour? I wouldn't say sour, but kind of tangy. I think I know what you're going for. Maybe. I am gonna try it with some salt now. Let's see. Tastes a lot similar to the one we just had. Hmm. It's got a good texture. I would say it's. A little bit mealy a little bit but it's Maybe. pretty smooth though yeah it tastes again like the skin the is black chief the black pineapple and the oh. Aunt Ruby's German green that's it has kind of that same Swedish flavor okay yeah it's like it's not like the other ones to where it's like just sour and it's yeah it's got that kind of sweet flavor to go with it it's pretty good the it's skin is a little it tastes like a tomato. <laughs> it has tough skin, though, I will say. A little bit of tough skin. It was pretty good. It was unique. It was different. Dr. Weish's Yellow. I'm really excited to try this one. It doesn't look quite yellow. It looks kind of like orange. Yeah, it's more of an orange color. It's orange when it's ripe. Um, the plant was um, okay i felt like it got early blight pretty quick and then i only got about six or seven fruits on the plant um and there was one there's a big one on there like this i would say that excuse you there's like a a bigger one than this on the plant but i'm excited about this i hear it's sweet so let's see if that's sweet. true i'm gonna cut it in half the other way like i did with the uh um the aunt ruby's there's the inside. There we go. Mm. That's Ooh, pretty sweet. That is sweet. Mm. Oh, I like this one a lot. Normally, I'm a I love acidity in a tomato, but this is good. Oh, okay, with the salt, it's almost like eating fruit instead of I mean tomato is a fruit but I mean tied first like not a vegetable here let me try a little bit of it. <clears throat> oh, here. That in half. out of all of them I didn't dislike any of them so that's a plus that's good yeah oh it's good with salt too mm -hmm. almost doesn't need the salt though mm. that... I think any of these tomatoes taste really good with salt taste better even with salt yeah it brings out the flavors but that was a really good one. I would say, that. I would definitely grow this one again. Yeah. You want another bite? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try another bite too. It's tough for me to distinguish much <laughs> between any of them. Well, could you tell that one was sweeter though? A little bit. Yeah. That spot off there. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a very good tomato.